guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to do a mani with this gorgeous polish from Madame Glam. The name of this polish is More Diamonds, Please. And as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful holographic glitter polish. It's a rose gold ho holographic glitter polish. It's opaque on its own in two coats. And I just adore it. I think it's so gorgeous. I can't stop staring at it. So along with this polish, I also got sent three other polishes from her. So thank you so much, Madame Glam, for sending me your polishes to use in my designs. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the my Instagram or the first video I made with the Madame Glam, Madame Glam polishes. Go ahead and check that out and you'll see the other polishes that she sent me. And she also gave me a whopping 30% off discount code to share with you guys. So make sure you use that when you go check out her polishes on her website. I will link the website and the code, which is PQ30, down below for you guys. So now that we have gone over the polish, let me go ahead and get out everything we need for our design and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so for stamping, I'm going to be using this plate from Ubersheek. It is Ubersheek 4-03. This is the third plate in set four. And I'm going to be using this beautiful heart image up here. And for stamping, I'm going to be using Munadunyas number 70 Barbie. And I'm going to be using my Ubersheek Beauty Stamper and my Born Pretty Store Scraper. So normally I prep my nails with some liquid latex, but because this image probably won't leave any extra there, I'm not going to waste my time with that today. Just in case you're wondering why. This image is so cute. I just love it. I saw someone do a mani with this image just a couple weeks ago. I want to say it was Sarah R, but I'm not positive, but I loved it. Beautiful. And I'm just going to pop this right on my pointer finger. So there's my image, super cute, it just looks gorgeous over that hollow. And on my ring finger, I think I, I, can't, I haven't decided if I'm going to stamp this little heart by itself or if I'm just going to put some rhinestones, so I'm not 100% about that yet. So I'm also going to flip the image upside down as I go, go back and forth just to where it's not the exact same image on every finger. So I stamped it like this for my pointer finger, so I'm going to turn it upside down. And you know what? I think it's going to make it lean the same way. Let's find out. Yeah, it makes it lean the same way, so never mind. It's going to look the same no matter what. But it's gorgeous either way. I love it. So let me go ahead and finish stamping on the rest of my fingers, and I'll meet you back to let you know what I have decided for my accent nail. Okay, so I went ahead and finished stamping the rest of my nails, as you can see here. And I wasn't sure whether I was going to put a different stamp on my ring finger or just some rhinestones or something, but I think I am going to use this adorable little heart that's isolated all by itself that matches this image. And I'm just going to put it on my ring finger a little, I think I'm going to put it a little, um, like, catty-cornered a little bit. So there's the image, super cute, and I'm just going to line that up kind of on its side just a bit, pop it right in the middle of my nail, just like that. So let me go ahead and top coat these and do a little bit of cleanup, and I'll meet you back and show you the end result. Okay guys, I finished stamping and top coated and cleaned up, and this is the finished result. I think it came out super cute. I just love the way that hollow looks. I think it's just so beautiful. Don't forget to check out the links to Madame Glam and go check out all of her polishes. Plus, she has gel polishes and some cosmetics, too. So definitely go check her out. She's got just about everything for everyone. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys like this design. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and, of course, come back to see me next time. Bye!